Hello and welcome. Animation is an important feature of game development, and Unity has many features to create and work with animations. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to create animation clips. First, let's get the animation window in place. To begin, we have a blue sphere lying on the floor. We want to animate it so that it bounces on the floor. To create the animation clip, select the sphere in the hierarchy window and click on create in the animation window. Choose the location and file name of the animation clip and click on save. Having created an animation clip, Unity does the following. 1. An animator controller asset is created along with the animation clip in the asset folder. 2. This new clip is set as the default state of the animator controller, as you can see in the animator window. Then 3. An animator component is added to the sphere game object, and this component references the animator controller. Now back to our sphere. We want to use the record mode to record animation of this sphere. On the right side of the animation window is the timeline. Now let's enable the recording of keyframes. The timeline heading becomes reddish, indicating that any change to an animatable property of the sphere will be recorded against a frame. Now we have a simple animation. Frames at 0 seconds, 1 second, and 2 seconds are key frames because they have one or more keys on them. Keys contain specific property information about the game object at a particular point in time. The Y position of the sphere changes gradually between key values on the key frames as you move along the timeline. You can see how the transform position values also change in the inspector window. We can manually add a keyframe by right clicking and selecting add key or by clicking on the add keyframe button on the animation window. Keys on a keyframe can be moved to another frame or deleted or edited. Now let's animate the color of our sphere. We want it to be blue when touching the floor, but become red when it is at its peak height. Let's play the animation clip and see. The animation timeline has two modes, 
the dope sheet and the curve. In the curve mode, you see a graphical view of how sharp or gentle a certain property changes over the course of time. See how the colors and the position of the sphere can be edited using the curve. When you want to animate game objects in a hierarchy, that is game objects in a parent-child relationship, then you need to create the animation clip on the parent game object. We have in our scene two cues, one being a child of the other. See how we we'll animate them using their rotation properties. Again, let's see how the animation goes. When we enter play mode, all the animation clips will play simultaneously. In our next video, we'll be looking at animation events. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.